hello what's up youtube photographer Ronnie sweater natural and this tutorial i'll be showing you a very simple technique of how you can easily smooth skin using photoshop in the shortest time possible using frequent separation so simply like this video don't forget to subscribe if i told you're watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel so simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe so this is the image that we're going to be dealing with so this is the photo that we're going to be dealing with in this very tutorial so what we want to do we simply want to first of all clean up or remove the pimples or blemishes in this very image and i'm using photoshop 2025 so after dragging and dropping the, the photo into photoshop simply come to these tools right here and select the patch tool and after selecting the patch tool make sure you press ctrl j or you can use command j on the keyboard to duplicate the background layer and after doing that just zoom all the way in so with the patch tool selected make sure it is in this first option right here and the patch is normal and source and destination are active right here so how, how the patch tool is going to work basically when you're removing pimples or blemishes you simply left click and draw around the blemish that you want to remove and drag that blemish to an area that has clean skin so you left click and hold down and you draw around the blemish and you drag the blemish to a clean area but make sure the area you, you're moving to is just close to the blemish so that you can have consistent colors or consistent replacements of that blemish so we are basically patching the blemishes with clean skin so just drag just like that so always take your time as you're trying to uh, clean up or clear these blemishes from your images so i'll just do that and i just show you how it is done so that you don't find it complicated so always take your time as you're cleaning up and removing most of these pimples and blemishes so just like that and for a bigger blemish you could as well select a bigger portion and drag it to a nearby area to replace that blemish with clean skin so just take your time as you're doing this step just like that so you can see the before and the after of what we have just been able to do so take your time as you're cleaning up and removing the pimples and blemishes and the next thing you're going to do in this case i think i've already done all the blemish removal in this first step so you can see this is the image before after let me zoom in so before after before after so anything is going to be after removing the blemishes create one extra layer from the clean blemish layer by pressing ctrl j and just come and name this to low and name this to high frequency so the low frequency layer is for colors and the high frequency layer is for textures so just come and select the low frequency layer and turn off the high frequency layer so for this step simply come right here to filter come to blur and come to gaussian blur so take the radius all the way down to 0 0.1 and look for an area that has more blemishes on the skin so for this step we just want to blur out the textures from the image but we can still identify as other facial structures so just left click and drag as you're releasing so you can see the effect in real time so left click and drag so we are going to take it so the technique here is the if at all you want to remain with more textures you have to remain to use a slightly higher radius and if at all you want to remain with less textures you have to use a low radius so for closer images we tend to use a higher radius and for images that are far away or for full portraits we use a low radius but the trick here is you always have to drag and see the textures disappear so you have to stop at the point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear from your image or from your photo and click ok so select the high frequency layer and now activate it simply come to image and come to apply image so when you come to apply image come and select the low frequency layer and make sure the blending is set to subtract because we are dealing with an 8-bit image type in the scale 2 and just type in the offset 128 opacity 
at 100%, preserve transparency and mask cannot check. And the invert option is not turned on and click OK. So just come to the blend mode and change it from normal. And you're just going to change it to linear light and you'll get back the image that it was meant to be. So after doing that, you can as well group these two layers by selecting them and dragging them in this group icon. So after you have done that, come and simply hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer. So we're going to come to the brushes, right click and select our mixer brush tool. And after selecting the mixer brush tool, if at all you can't locate it right here, find the mixer brush tool below here. So just come and make sure it is a clean brush. And the option that says clean brush after each and every stroke is selected. The weight we are going to be using is 9%, load 75, mix at 90, flat 100%. And after doing that, we are simply going to increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. And how to paint basically left click and hold down and we drag the brush to blend a given color and to paint on a new color we release the left click button and left click once again and just paint just like that so we are also going to paint and as you're doing this always make sure you zoom all the way out because when you zoom all the way in you can't see the uneven skin tone transitions and you can't see the effect in real time so always and always retouch at a distance so i'm just going to paint just like that so you can see this shadow area i'm just going to paint it just like that and paint it so always take your time as you're trying to paint like that and i think always follow the direction of the way a given area is shaped or the flow of the face so you can see i can't move my brush in this direction because this area is moving in this kind of diagonal direction so i'm just going to mix and blend just like that come the nose and move my brush in an up down direction because that is the direction in which the nose skin tones are moving so i'll mix the shadows of the nose alone and mix the highlights of the nose alone so reduce on the size and also come and mix just like that so take your time practicing and you'll be better when it comes to using and applying the mixer brush tool to your images so so you, as you're doing this you can notice that the image is looking a little bit plastic but this is the major goal so the more plastic the image is looking the better the results that we are going to be having because we are working on the colors or the skin tones of this very image so i'm just going to mix so always mix and blend every area that has skin and don't leave any area unworked on so reduce on the size and blend right there so you can now come and turn on the texture or high frequency layer and look at the effect that we have been able to achieve so you can now come to the overall group and close it and you can see this is the before after before and after you can see what we have been able to achieve and we have been able to smooth the skin and have a nicely edited or retouched image in this case so this is how you can easily smooth and skin using frequency separation in the best way possible and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating so before after before after and i'll see you in the next one